take the pencil marks off. Okay, let's take our let's take this one first. He's kind of a deep one here. Again, you can get as much detail as you want or less detail as you want. But if you can at least put in where some of the major craters are. Now like I said, up here, just find where we can get in and out. There we go. Good to go against the green when it comes to getting in there. And I know around here is the the biggest asteroid field against the green. I'm not doing so good with this as far as getting it in and out. Because I know you want to go against the green because when you go with the green then you get these egg shaped and that's what's happening even though I'm doing what I think is right. Maybe I just need a bigger hook or And I will, I'll just go as, put in again as much detail as you want. I'm just going to hold out there. And then we want to put this guy in. We want to put this here in. My back. Where are you? And we'll, at this crater here, just take our V tool. Hello. Well, there it is. Now I want to put a little bit of roundness as I as I put in these meter track meter tracking marks, so it gives the impression of roundness. That little, little chisel. I might want to go a little deeper with this one here. This one's really pronounced. Now I don't know if you could take a large nail and stipple it. I'm not particularly sure if that will help or not. I'm just relatively satisfied with what I got here, let's take that pencil mark off. And again, I think there was yeah, these two hold, these two sort of medium sizers over here. We'll do we'll do that. Those kind of came out. And again, let's just... Oh, there's... I'll do a little bit of that when you turn.
But other than smoothing it out, I'm kind of pretty well happy with the way it is. Like I said, it's not a realistic moon. It is a moon characterist, character, caricature kind of a thing. Now I want to go downstairs, drill the holes. These are going to be like uh, three eighths, three eight holes with three eight dowels. I th I do believe. Yeah, it's three eighths. Not three eighths. I'm sorry. Three sixteenths. Pardon me. Three eighths would be. Pretty darn big uh, dowel. Okay, let me go downstairs, put all this together, and we'll see how it looks. Let me come down here a little bit. All right, back with the holes in the dowels and all that. And there basically it is. I'm going to do a little bit of touch up. You can see between the owl and the in the tree, we can kind of fix that a little bit. Pull that out of there. What I did when you drill, I like to make sure when I drill, make sure it's as straight as possible. Same with when I drill. I'm going to drill straight up, make sure he's straight. And then here, what I did with the moon is just simply drill a hole in the center and then put the against the bird where I want it and then put a pencil mark in there and then drill a hole there. Now I did have to kind of straighten this out just a little bit. Oops, sorry. Just going to go through the motion even though I already did it. Flatten this a bit so that it'll go about as flat as it can against. Now you probably could pull that out. You probably could make it even flatter, but I like to have a little bit of roundness again so that when you kind of look at this angle, even though the moon is not completely up on the bird, you see it there? But it still shows some roundness there. Got that crater kind of sticking out. And then that's sticking on there. But let's take this out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, do I have to turn the camera off just so I can take out a, a dowel? With much, sorry, much grunting and special effects. So we'll round it a little bit this way. Now I'll just give a little bit of a point. Not too much. I don't want to give too much of a point. I'll bend this a little bit. Bend the knife a little bit like this. So give the impression. I'm not sure how much I want to put that at a point. Sure, we do have dowels, and dowels will keep it pretty strong, but I'm just still not comfortable with it having it at a, at a point. Did I do it with this one here? Yeah, I did, because I think what I did was I made it to a point, and then I realized, oops! And it's a matter of keep keep rounding this. Come on, come on back. And then maybe if I can bring this to a point here a little bit. There we go. There we go. Now we're going to throw that dowel here and with all my tools. Uh-oh. 
Hello, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Now I'm grunting in frustration. Where did you go? Get back in there. Put this back on here. Maybe just a little bit with the knife right here. Come on back down. Probably a little, maybe a little more adjusting. Maybe that's good enough. One of the two. But there. There he is. The owl in the moon. This is, I want to say, this is sort of a northern, midwestern version of the, what do you call it, the, the uh, southwest what you, coyote howling in the moon on top of a mountain ridge or something like that. So he's hooting away, hooting and hollering. And there's the rest of it, if I were to put it this way. That's kind of ridiculous. Well, it fits, but that's kind of ridiculous. But anyways, there you are. I hope you had uh, good luck or fun with it, as I did. I've always enjoyed making something new. But there you are. Till the next time, this is uh, Russell Scott from Scott Carvings. ScottCarvings.com. See my site, website, Pinterest site. Of course, you've seen my YouTube site, and there you are.